Today we'll check out how to make this a Lego pattern effect here in Photoshop. First we're going to make a really small artboard size where the size is going to be the width and the height 100. Click OK. I'm going to unlock the background. And let's go to Edit. Click on Fill. And select 50% Gray. And click OK. Now let's go and double click on the layer. And here let's go and select the Bevel and Emboss. And let's go to the Depth. I'm going to increase it to 300. Size is going to be 8. The angle is going to be 120. Let's go and increase the height mode all the way up. Change up the blend mode to screen. Shadow mode is going to be on 60. And click OK. I'm also going to need to duplicate this. So press Ctrl J. And I'm going to select the circle. And here I'm going to press and hold Shift. Create a circle. And place it into the center. Now let's go and press and hold Ctrl. And click on the thumbnail of this ellipse layer. Now you can uncheck it and let's go and select the second gray layer and click on the mask. So this way we're going to mask it. Now you can delete the circle. You also can press Ctrl T to scale it up a little bit more. So there you go. Now let's go to the edit and let's go and select the define pattern. Here you can rename it and click OK. Now let's go and create a new artboard and this is going to be a web. And I'm going to select the 1080p, uncheck artboard and click on create. Here I'm going to drag and drop the model. Also make sure to right click on the layer with the model and select convert to smart object. And here I'm going to go to the filter, pixelate and select mosaic. And here you can increase or decrease the cell size. For example, I'm going to go with like 36, click OK. And then I'm going to go to the adjustments. Let's go and select the pattern. And here I'm going to change up the pattern and I'm going to select the new pattern that I created. So this is how it's going to look. And I'm going to click OK. Let's go to the blend mode. And I'm going to select D. I'm going to go with the linear light. So now as you can see, we're going to need to match the Lego pattern with the pixels. So let's go to the mosaic here. Double click on it. And as you can see, we got like 36 cells. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy it. And let's go and activate the pattern. I'm going to double click on it. And here we got the scale. And I'm going to copy paste the scale, the 36 right here. Click OK. So now you can see we got the same size. You also can scale the cells, 58. And then activate the pattern and change this to 58 as well. And that's how I make this a Lego pattern here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.